What's up folks, it's your boy Pizza Machine here, coming back at you with some more Final Fantasy 16. I hope that you are all having a great day out there. And let's get back into this. So, we are still on the Hunter and the Hunted. We are now to return to the hideaway, so let's do just that. Hopefully Jill's feeling a little better. Been a while since we last saw her. Great gouts of fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? <laughs> what? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Ah, there we go. Speak of the devil. <laughs> right. <sighs> go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Jutes, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long <laughs> have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Right. First of all, let's see if we've got any upgrades. Make it quick. So would it be? Right, it appears as though that Stormcry is still the most powerful weapon we have, right? Nothing there. Ooh. Traveler's Bands plus one, so it gives us more HP, I'm guessing. But we're down on the defense. Hmm, I'll leave that. And cool. Might as well buy some more potions. Look what the curl dragged in. Coin purse weighing you down. Yeah, I'll leave that one still. It'd better all be here. Is that all? Nice. Right. <laughs> oh, finally, we can talk to the Moogle. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. <laughs> I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. <laughs> so it would seem. That sounds painful. <laughs> so Moogles refer to everybody as Kupo or Kupo, however you want to pronounce it. It's Sid's fault. He tied it too tight. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop moaning. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. Wasn't so long ago us old hands were ratting about the place like peas in a bucket. I think we've heard that one. Let's see if we have any new songs. In the orchestrion. We've listened to that one. There we go. And the sound of silence. <laughs> I don't think that's the sound of silence. Let's see if the Spoonie Bar's got anything new. Right. 
I'm pretty sure he sang that one last time. Just going to have a quick check down here. Let's get this fixed before someone does. Yep, what's that? Oh, what a... The lime didn't work, and nor did the straw. Your wounds are healed right enough, but I'd still suggest you rest. Well, if that's ah, what the doctor orders. Glad to see the colour back in your cheeks. <laughs> that's one less thing to worry about. Right, let's go and see Jill. Actually, let's see if Clive's got anything else to say. Not Clive. I keep calling Sid Clive. <laughs> Did that in the last video. Doesn't appear to be here. Here she is. Obviously looking a lot older now. Been 13 years. It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... ...see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominant. What? <sighs> what happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> 
Clive. When I think back to that night... The hooded man, he... He spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. All right, bloody hell. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should be ready too. We've a long journey. Ahead. Ah, nice. Side quests have come back. We're looking at half a dozen. Their bunks are made up. I can leave whenever you're ready. See what this guy wants. You! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. Go on, then. All right, I'll go. Marvellous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Moving heaven and earth. Ah, oh, so he's got another side quest. Oh, not even. Right. Let's go to the wall map. Actually. Let me just quickly check now. Because after that cutscene, they might have some new upgrades. Gaia Blade. Plus one. 150. Nice. There we go. Cool. You'd last you a good Get one while. of them. Gold work sash plus one. Awesome. No scratches, right? The same on these, right? Else? Cool. Actually, we don't need to go outside, do we? We can just go to this menu and then the map. Or rebel down, so there we go. Isn't this the place with, like, the vineyard? Yeah, well, that's kind of what it looks like to me anyway. <laughs> nice to see it in the day, though. Pretty cool tower. Someone's in trouble. 
Look at this sword. It's a bit thick. Toggle with us. Hey, boy. <laughs> Come here. I totally missed them. That isn't actually that powerful. I think it just does a lot of stagger damage. I love that stab. Enemies slain. Nice. Another level up. Level 22. Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Right, so a very simple fetch quest. Well then, there's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? <laughs> Have a sample. That should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. Again, can just do this car. Oh, that was fairly quick. Yep, Gav. Sid's gone off again to Rosaria this time to pick up some supplies. Never can get him to sit still. <laughs> there you are. And all safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. <laughs> Did you bring it? What a prick. Uh, yes. Here. Oh no. For that, I don't feel like handing it over. <laughs> Go on then. When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... 
worried about me. Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Oh, yeah, not much XP. Actually, that was a bit crap. <laughs> no gill. Hmm. Now, my research can continue at least. Still, might as well do the other one. Really do with a proper place of training. Because these main quests don't actually seem to be that long. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? What say you? <laughs> Go on then. I'd be happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Marvellous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Right, so we've received three hearty meals. Like Uber. <laughs> Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. No worries. Right. On to the next. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, <laughs> did you? Can I send me? He thought you might be hungry. wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Loud and clear. Right. One more. Give for some wild Mickey berries. <laughs> Can I help you? 
And it's in me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. So yeah, fairly mundane tasks at the moment. Hopefully they get a bit more interesting. At half a dozen, maybe. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. No gill this time. A fair few ability points. And a gill bug. Still haven't sold any of those yet. <laughs> Don't think that I really need to. Just at this moment in time. Let's see what abilities we can unlock now. Rook's Gambit. That's upgraded. Do that one. And that. Cool. Right. Let's get on with it then. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Are we? All right. <laughs> Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Think Off we're good? Go, then. I'm best of luck. Cheers. <laughs> you sound like you really mean it. Have to. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be. Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will.
Hey up, there she is. Sorry to keep you waiting. And a new gab. <laughs> Ready, my lady. Ready. Right, let's roll onto the Phoenix Gate. Three reeds. I'm guessing we're going to be starting a new chapter now. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. to you. Imperial province of Rosaria. Charizard. It's pretty nice. Hopefully this is going to be another sandboxy kind of area. Top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. So, homecoming. So, uh, current chapter, make for Martha's rest. Cool. Here's the new party. This obelisk has just been activated. Cool. Let's head on out. I think they've just released a patch. Primarily to reduce some of the motion blur. I think I see it. <laughs> Could be a placebo. Look at the fuse on this Pretty cool location, though. Look at these wild beasts. Pretty big. And it is a big horn. <laughs> That's the name. Jesus. Got a fair bit of life. And these are upgraded abilities as well. So obviously Jill uses ice as she is Shiva. That's her icon. Nice. Get 
Move. Bloody hell. Ah, mess that one up. No late. Nice. That was a tough battle, especially just for 20 XP. <laughs> Bloody hell, all right. Get you cooked. <laughs> They're a bit easier. Just having a little look around. Ow. Yeah, I like this location. Kinda reminds me of FF15. Just the look of it. A Cray Claw. Hopefully I can come back here and do a bit of grinding, but we're not really getting that much XP. Looks like there's a side quest over there. Just gonna have a little look down here. I doubt that we can go into the water. Nope. <laughs> this an enemy? No. Oh, no. Okay. Is it antelope? Yeah. On, Sargle. 24 XP as well. That was fairly easy. Gonna say, there can't be enemies. Nice. 40 XP. This looks like a boss arena. Maybe if we start the side quest, we might meet something back here.
Yeah, it must be a boss arena. There's no way this must be... Like, the only stuff here. Just a few enemies and an item. <laughs> Can we get up that? Well, not from this side, anyway. They never finished building the bridge then. Ah, Chocobo. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Looks like they've had a bit of an accident. Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still. Better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? <laughs> I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Lucky for you, we're heading that way. <laughs> I might as well. There we go. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Do what I want. <laughs> Sealed crate. Deliver the package to Marvus. Rest. Ah. All right. can't always tell what parts we can go to and then which parts we can't explore. So it looks like we have to stay on the grassy patches. Oh, look at these. Don't soggle. I'm going to get stuck. Oh, 
What? <laughs> Bloody hell, he was fairly tough. Anything else? <laughs> there we go, a chest. Yeah, the motion blur is still pretty bad. Hey up, oh, go on then. Give you some love. What the hell? <laughs> After it. I think that's it. Yeah, we can't run through that, even though it's shallow water, or fairly shallow. Yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully, we can pick up some potions. More antelope. So they do kind of run away. I think it's just, if we get in the face, then they're like, okay, let's roll. Let's do this. <laughs> Five gil. Wow. <laughs> I love that horn. Or trumpet. Whatever instrument it is. I should know. I'm a musician. <laughs> kind of a trumpet in it, I think. Hang on. Let's have a little look down here. Guessing these are bandits. Awesome. There's a chest here. Ten bloody hides. Still can't enter any of these buildings. Yeah, the motion blur is still pretty intense. Sick 
think I see an item. The path kind of splits. Ah, it's over there. Shallow water seems to scare Clive, Jill, and Toggle a fair bit. <laughs> Snarling up. <laughs> it looks like we can head up this thing. Hey up. Oh, this is Martha's rest. Hang on. I'm dead. No potions yet. So these are just part of the Ruins that fell from the sky, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I'm guessing. There we go. How we get over here? <laughs> I love that move. There's more items. Alright. Fairly big place. Still, I don't think we've had... Hang on, let me just check. Yeah, we're still level 22, so it's taken a fair while... I'd like to get to level 23 before we move on, but I don't think I'm going to use this area to do a bit of grinding, to be honest. might get up to level 24. Just stick on a podcast. <laughs> Anything over here? Just a big boy. 
the garden or anything. Move. Fucking bolt. Let him do his thing. <laughs> Pretty cool animation on that, though. Right, come on, then. Here's one of them. Nearly there. See you later, mate. So most of this stuff that we've been picking up, I'm guessing, is mainly used for crafting. Getting our new upgrades. Alright, let's have a look over here. But we are kind of straying away from Martha's Rest a bit now. So there is a bridge over there, but it's currently raised up, so we can't get over. Not sure how we get to that point where that bull is. But I'll leave it for now. I feel as though we've done enough. Having said that, I would like to get to level 23. Taking a where yeah. Taking a fair while. Not where while. What's a where while? <laughs> Taking a fair while to get there. Right, let's go and complete this side quest. That's we might get some XP for that as well. We take him in. He's not one of ours. Look, he's with his master. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. <laughs> huh. 
Sounds about right. The killer chocos. Full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with them, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out. Yeah, the Gizal greens are running from miles around. Are basically chocobos catnip. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. What a bird wants. <laughs> no XP, bloody hell. Are these side quests are even worth it. Good girl. You get some rest now. That's a nice view. Right, come on then. Let's carry on with the main mission. You barely have to step out your front door these days before you're set upon by beasts or, or, or bandits. So much for the holy empire. Martha's rest as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Which stuff was for the golden stables again. Any goods to East Pool, leave them in the pile. We'll take them over when the bridge is back up. And when's that gonna be? <laughs> and then they just stop talking. It's so weird. There's an obelisk. Here, has this thing always been glowing? <laughs> yeah, this is very classic style Final Fantasy town music. Just like a nice sweet melody. Kind of gives you that nostalgic feeling. Oh, look at that. That looks like uh, VV from uh, Final Fantasy IX. That's so cool. A black mage. I think he was. So much or is. The of the Empire being equal, if that's all the crystal they give us. Oh, and it's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bearer anymore. That's so cool. So you're gonna take a picture. FF9 is one of my all-time favorite Final Fantasies. Probably place that game in number two. My all-time favorite Final Fantasy list. FF7 in number one. I know it's cliche. <laughs> Even though there's a fair few people who say number six. Number six was a damn good game. But yeah, I think that FF9 is very underrated. Not many people seem to talk about it. Maybe on Final Fantasy forums I do, but just like people I meet who have also played most of the Final Fantasy games. None of them really mention number nine. A lot of them say 10. For me, I thought 10 was good. I love the battle system in 10. The music and the graphics were awesome. But I just couldn't stand the main protagonist. <laughs> just some blitzball star, like a sports star, basically. All of a sudden, he's saving the world. I think from Sin, I think that was the main enemy or threat in that game. I call him Tidus, but I think it's Tidus. But yeah, I just didn't get oh, do you? him being the main character. It's a bit weird. Gave me proper David Beckham vibes as well. <laughs> but everything else about that game was awesome. So yeah, Gaia Blade. We're good there. Take 
care out there, eh? I'll have to learn this on the guitar. There's a lift. Leave that for the time being. There we go. Classic game design. <laughs> Look at this view. Now oh, the smart items down there. Ah, so this appears to be the, the other side. Will be fixed ah, but fixed, the bridge right? needs to be fixed first, right? Oh, cool. The bridge is down. Yesterday. If you're headed for East Pool, you'll have to wait. You know what he's doing. Right, come on then. Oh, that was Sid then. <laughs> Do you like that? Just having a little look. <laughs> Again, if you want to read any of this stuff, just pause it. You probably read a lot faster than me anyway. <laughs> What's that? Martha Brooks No Sharps. The following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, foisting, fingering. <laughs> Lovely. Here's Martha. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old... Friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be. If the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. 
You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. A classic RPG type of quest. <laughs> right. To the marshes. Can we have a rest? Let's find that ladder. It appears not. Contogs. We're out of here. Actually. Anything else? We should think about pressing on. I can't be seen talking to you. If there's anything you need, ask Martha. Hey. <laughs> He goes to Eastpool, leave him in the pot. We'll take him over when the Here's the gate. It looks like. And that must be the ladder. Yeah, it's just here. Is he smoking a vape? Oh no. <laughs> Hey up. What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Is this our guy? I'm guessing so. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. Get him, boy. <laughs> That's enough. Well, that was an easy quest. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. <laughs> I'm a friend of Martha's. Not that famous, she asked mate. Us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around. I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Why? Well, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. I hear the levees are due to do up. Do you like that? <laughs> Don't know what type of convo they were having. Ah, 
Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the North, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Building bridges. Nice. Fair bit of gill there. That's a decent quest. Obviously, it's a main story quest. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. A bearer's lot make for the Glademond Abbey, I think that is. It was good, honest work building that aqueduct. Thought that we were getting a good night's kip. <laughs> Did this guy sell potions. Right. I think so. There we go. Much obliged. Yeah, I wonder if Square Enix sells Imperial Gold. I'm guessing that's a beer. What Martha just offered to us. 
because I remember back in 2009, I think it was, when Final Fantasy 13 came out and I was living in Japan, Family Mart was doing a promotion where they were selling this Final Fantasy 13 drink. I know. Tasty like Mountain Dew. And I think they just called it a potion. through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Sorry, these two are having like a deep conversation while I'm just talking over them. <laughs> but yeah, it tasted pretty nice. Kind of like Mountain Dew, I would say. I've forgotten the names of most of the characters from FF13, but you could get like cams with lightning on them and then all the other characters. And you could buy like a collection box as well. And obviously people were selling them online for... Major inflated prices, obviously to the west, because in Japan there was just like 150 yen or something like that. So like one pound or one dollar twenty, something like that. But yeah, they're pretty good. How's this? You know what to do, boy. Sick of toggle. Stay down. Nearly at level twenty three. Oh, look at this big thing. Hey, up. Oh, come off it. <laughs> Oh no. Pretty cool enemy. Ah, oh, come off it. Ow. Bloody hell, this thing's got a lot of life. Come on. There we go. Only 20 XP. Bloody hell. <laughs> right, let's see what we can upgrade here. Only 741 points. All right. <laughs> Might as well do this one. Ugh. 
try that again. Even though I think that the graphics are a bit meh in this game, the animations look really cool. Especially the battle animations. No, I'm not doing one of those again. <laughs> not worth it. Not for 20 XP. Are these Chocobo? It's like a peacock. Are these Chocobo that we can tame? Or are these... Oh, a bluebird. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to deck some Chocobo. But still, they might give us good XP. <laughs> I feel so bad doing this up. <laughs> they don't put much of a fight, do they? Got a level up there. Ah, oh, only 24. Fair bit of... Ability points, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm coming, Tog. <laughs> I feel so guilty. <laughs> that one. A few battles in this time around. Got to stop using that one. It's not that powerful. I think it's mainly for stagger. <laughs> Such a cool move.
fucking bolt. Bloody hell. <laughs> Should be done here. There we go. Right, so here's the bridge that we can't get across. Is there an item here? Nope. Right, let's go to this abbey then. Just have a quick look here. 349, that ain't gonna buy us anything, is it? Nope. Nowhere near another level up. But I will... Off stream. Get to level 24. More items over there. But we'll leave it for now. But yeah, this is most definitely the biggest area we've been to. Pretty cool. They look like the dancing. Let's go and see. Boom. Oh, there's more. Right. Oh, nice. 40 XP. It's like we've got some gravestones here. You can't really see what's on screen until you slow down and the motion blur goes away. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that we haven't actually had that patch. It's still fairly bad. Or quite bad, actually. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? 
We came to offer a donation. From Martha. I see. Then please, follow me. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Mars. Pretty messed rest. up. Yes, we should. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness, but I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god that is not their own. Bloody hell, we can finally enter a house. <laughs> And there is nothing in here. <laughs> Are we not even rest? What kind of house is this? Or is it a house? I don't know. <laughs> Again, classic game design or level design.
Right, let's head on back to Martha. Nearly heading on to two hours here. Bit of a longer vid. Is this finally where the game actually opens up? <laughs> And it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. No point with that, is the Right. Might as well go to this obelisk. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Seal obtained. You accept the slumbering chocobo, I think that was. welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Nice. Another G. Let me speak to you now. Can't be seen talking to All right. You. If there's anything you need, ask me. 
Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. <laughs> but you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. I wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Holding on, right. A new chapter, so I'm going to end that there, folks. Quite a long one. I'm guessing we didn't need to do all that grinding. But I did want to get to level 23. Let's have a look here. Yeah. A fair ways off. To level 24. But I will do a little more grinding here. Get to level 24 before we do this current... Quest, which is holding on make for east pool nice so yeah really enjoyed this one hope you did too i hope it wasn't too boring <laughs> just mainly a lot of battling don't know what you guys prefer if you just prefer to watch the story a bit so if you don't mind actually watching all the battles and what have you but yeah here's a side quest so i might actually do this as well 
Actually, there appears to be a few. Cool, so we'll get those done in the next vid as well. Let's see if this guy's got anything of worth. Oh, do. Still the Gaia Blade. Cool. Right. Well. Yeah, so I'll leave that there, folks. If you enjoyed this vid, please drop a like. That would be most appreciated. And if you have not subbed to the channel already, please think about doing so, as it will help out an awful lot. Until next time, this is your boy Pixel Machine, your girl Jill, wherever she's gone, and your boy Toggle. There she is. Have a good one, folks. Peace. See ya. Have a good one. You like that, don't you? <laughs>